march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Well, we've got a full plate, ladies and gentlemen, lined up for you of absolutely vital information on this third day of November 2013 on this two-hour Sunday abbreviated transmission. Three, to, three hours, weekdays, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, and then, of course, the two-hour transmission every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Wow, there is so much to get into. Huge developments on the Obamacare front with uh, the Obamacare architect admitting the plan is to get rid of the individual uh, having a insurance market and everyone being forced into a collectivist market. We're going to be getting into that admission. Of course, they always admitted that, but just thought their constituents were morons and, and would say that we were liars when we pointed out what they were actually planning. Uh, we're also going to get into a book uh, written with aides of, the, of Obama where he would brag about what a great killer he was and how manly it was to order drones to kill people. You know, Obama reportedly said, I'm really good at killing people. Uh, yes, and then giving the drone pilots uh, above Purple Hearts. When Audie Murphy got Purple Hearts for being wounded and shot by German soldiers, that was nothing compared to a drone pilot. Or someone giving orders to the drone pilot. They're even greater greater heroes perhaps we should give him a thousand we're having inflation in the dollar how about a thousand nobel prizes a thousand nobel prizes a minute or a thousand nobel prizes a second we could give him 57 trillion nobel prizes and that would make all the funding al-qaeda and funding torture and secret arrest and warrantless wiretapping and bid rigging and no bid contracts and hiring more lobbyists than anyone before him and bankrupting the country that makes it all okay so we're going to get into obamacare the latest on nsa we're going to get into uh panetta former sec def says u.s may have to use military force against iran and we're also going to get into uh obama using executive orders to bypass congress on carbon taxes and more and then of course the big news I have to cover it to protect ourselves, really, but also to illustrate media control. The LAX shooting uh, that uh, left one dead uh, and six wounded, unfortunately, if you even believe the official story, uh, but it looks like it actually happened. Sometimes they stage stuff entirely like Gulf of Tonkin. They have government documents like Operation Northwoods talking about how to stage mass shootings and blame it on their political enemies. So we have to know that it is possible with this crew to do anything, but it probably happened. Uh, but the issue is that uh, the official narrative has disintegrated. And we're going to be going over that. And uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center is basically a White House front group that demonizes anybody that isn't uh, left of Stalin. They have uh, come out now and demonized. Who do you think they demonized? It was just wild guess. You know, a lot of times when there's a mass shooting, I say, gee, I hope they don't blame me somehow. Then they'll have national stories going, Jones is delusional. He thinks they might try to connect him to it. And then they go ahead and still try to connect me to it. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't laugh about it, but it's really weird. Boston bombing, no connection to me. And they came out when I said that, well, there was a drill and there was government agencies involved and showed proof. Their response was, you're involved, Alex. And then they produced some local libertarian magazine that I wasn't even in as the proof. Now, to be honest, I do have 15 million listeners, a lot of folks that come along that, you know, listen to the show or watch it online. And so it's actually hundreds of millions that know who we are globally. That's a conservative estimate. So sure, it's like saying, did you watch Jay Leno? Yeah, I know who he is. Well, that's it. It's his fault in the Boston bombing as well. In fact, they could ask the uh, surviving brother, the surviving Patsy, the Boston bombing, if he's ever heard of Jay Leno. And then if he says, yes, I've heard of Jay Leno or Obama, then it's Obama's fault. <laughs> Actually, it is probably. <laughs> Obama's controllers obviously did it. Uh, the evidence on that is stacked to the rafters. But we're going to come back and break down this as well. And folks saying he was dressed up, multiple witnesses, credible witnesses saying, no, he was dressed up as a TSA agent. Sounds like a drill to me. Fits the script. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce 
sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology can bind silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. It is a big idea. A new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. But I also believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Guns will be taken, and no one will be able to be armed. We will yes. take all of them. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. It's global governance at last. Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? As for me, give me liberty or give me death! Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. And it is Sunday, the third day of November 2013. I'm your host, Alex Jones. We're going to cover the news today. And boy, is there a lot of incredibly important news, very weighty issues. And we'll also open the phones up on world events. We're going to get into the very suspicious, tragic events at LAX, uh, leaving one dead, six wounded. Uh, that fits in with more than 20 drills. They've had with no evidence it was coming of a libertarian right-winger shooting up the precious TSA. And so we're going to be uh, looking at this uh, because it has all the earmarks, all the signature hallmarks of a false flag. And we know the globalists have been caught doing this before. It's called a gambit in military strategy uh, where you sacrifice some of your own people in a staged event as a pretext to wave the bloody shirt and mobilize your operation against the general public. It is a 3,000-year-old chess move, and it's 101 in military strategy and stratagem. So we're going to be breaking all of that down, and our so-called government has a long, long, long history of staging events and being caught, attacking our own ships to get us into Vietnam, Gulf of Tonkin, or saying they were attacked. Uh, Cy Hirsch, Pulitzer Prize winner two times, of course, broke in New Yorker a few years ago the plan to have U.S. Navy SEALs attack our own ships to blame it on Iran. Of all people, George W. Bush blocked Dick Cheney from doing it. And there's hundreds of other examples. So the point is, uh, state-run media like MSNBC, CNN, they're going to be aghast that... We point out some of the uh, telltale signs of this perhaps being a staged event. Boston bombing, if you remember, totally hands down. Both brothers, government operatives, one of them publicly on CIA payroll, protected for years. Part of a drill we know they were having, that was even the Boston Globe. Our reporters went and covered it, were threatened by Secret Service who weren't even around the president there. They were just there to threaten people, covering up Saudi nationals, clearly involved, uh, and so much more. And for, for exposing that, they then had MSNBC and others come out with no evidence. We played this clip here. 
And you can just type in MSNBC says Alex Jones behind the Boston bombing. And on quite a few TV shows, they say, I am behind it and then show no evidence. My lawyer says I could clearly win a lawsuit for defamation, hands down. But, I mean, they're so discredited anyways. And MSNBC gets government uh, stimulus money, so I'm just be taxpayer money. And my goal is not to win a multi-million dollar lawsuit. It's just to discredit these people. And But the point is they're very upset about us exposing them. So we're going to be getting into that in a moment. There it is. MSNBC blames Boston bombing on deeply racist Alex Jones and then showed no clips of me being racist and no uh, no uh, clips of me connected to the Boston bombing in any way except for my reporter asking questions at stage press conferences about the drill that the Boston Globe and a local TV station admitted and the still photos by the thousands of uh, men in military outfits with black backpacks. Uh, running around uh, during and after the bombing uh, and uh, all the rest of it. So, uh, and the fact that Al-Qaeda in Chechnya is run by the CIA on record and the older brother was on the CIA payroll, but I'm already digressing. We just see this over and over again. In fact, let me just cover this now, then I'll get into huge developments on Obamacare, huge developments in the Middle East, big developments uh, on the NSA front. Obama uh, is now bragging that he's, quote, really good at killing people. Uh, that's big news. Um, so give him another peace prize for that. He's really macho and tough, very gangster. So we're going to be breaking that down. But uh, let's first just, just, just get into the whole false flag situation. Hitler firebombed his own Reichstag in February 27th, 1933. He was already elected as the leader of the country, but he wanted to abolish their Bill of Rights and Constitution in the Weimar Republic. And to have Kaiser Wilhelm step down, so he did get that done using the the, the uh, destroying of their own Capitol building, their firebombing of the Capitol building of the Reichstag uh, to get that job done. Uh, and uh, it had always been rumored to be a false flag, uh, but uh, a couple of years ago it was declassified. I don't know why the West declassified that. Well, actually, I know why they don't want you thinking about things like that. That it was indeed a staged event by Hermann Goering. Then we even know more about Operation Himmler. Uh, you wonder how Nazi Germany, with its high-tech military in 1939, 1940, attacked Poland that had horse-drawn carriages and was a World War I-style army. Well, they attacked U.S., uh, excuse me, Freudian slip, uh, Nazi bases uh, along the German-Polish border in Operation Himmler that was declassified in the Nuremberg trials. Uh, and in Operation Himmler, they attacked bases at Gleiwitz and others. and would even dress up local concentration camp victims in um, Polish regalia and German regalia. And uh, they would then, of course, uh, shoot them. So it looks real real. Uh, and then shoot film footage, 16 millimeter, I guess, for the German uh, cinema. It was where you went to the news to get your you know, movie for whatever a tenth of a mark was, and then you would also get 30 minutes of Hitlerian propaganda, newsreels before it, as they were called. We got that here as well, just our, our form of propaganda. And they said, how dare the Poles attack us, and then the rest is history. So the point is, when the media acts all aghast at this, it's like being aghast at the sun coming up in the morning. Uh, this is a standard operating procedure uh, to do these type of things. And the fact is, we have criminal elements in our government that blew up the Maine in 1898 to get us in the Spanish-American War, uh, that staged massacres in Cuba uh, to then blame it uh, on the forces there to invade in 1898 as well. Uh, and then just since then, it was declassified a decade ago that Bobby Kennedy went to his brother and wanted to blow up U.S. Uh, consulates in, in, in the uh, South America as a pretext to invade there because the Pentagon had been coming to him as well, wanting to push that. So, because Kennedy had said no, they went to his brother. So the fact is, you're just knee deep in this. Actually, up to your eyeballs in examples of false flags. And you've got the TSA wanting to roll out armed agents on the streets of America. It's already begun. Uh, wanting to set up checkpoints on highways. Wanting to set up checkpoints outside the airport. They already search your car if you park it in long-term parking without a warrant. They're now shifting from saying Al-Qaeda is the reason, because everybody knows that's a hoax and a fraud, and our government publicly runs them in Libya and Syria and Egypt and everywhere else. So that's mainstream news. So now they're segueing in the news saying, oh, no, it's veterans, gun owners, libertarians, conservatives. 
they're going to attack us. And they had 20 drills in the last couple of months. We had an article uh, five days ago uh, showing all these drills where the TSA is attacked by libertarians. And I'm going to show you some articles about that and play some news clips, not just us saying it. We're going to show you that they go, okay, the libertarians are going to come shoot us now, and they're the new enemy, okay? It's not Al-Qaeda. It's the gun owners and the, and the returning veterans and the libertarians, all right, who don't want us setting up checkpoints on the highway and totally taking over as a national police force. They're going to attack. Oh, my goodness. Somebody dressed up uh, like a TSA agent came in and shot some people. We don't know what happened, and it turns out... I said Friday, it may not be a false flag, maybe a mentally ill person or maybe somebody going postal. But I said, if they have a drill and if they were dressed up like TSA, it's a false flag. Well, there was a drill dressed up like TSA. It's probably a false flag. I mean, I'm an expert on false flags. Looks like a big giant false flag. Alex Jones here. And I want to tell you about a longtime friend of the show, My Patriot Supply. As you might remember, this is the company that stood up to the DHS and exposed FEMA's secret plan to begin hoarding emergency survival food. It has always been my belief that it's key to stand behind companies who share the same values as their fellow patriots. My Patriot Supply brings us their exclusive Patriot Pantry brand, along with many other fine preparedness products. I personally store and use their high quality products. It tastes great, and it's easy to store for up to 25 years. For a limited time, you can save $50 instantly on a four-week supply of food, along with other special offers. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today. With the New World Order making rapid advances on every front, it is essential to prepare with My Patriot Supply today. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on healthcare? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet, the highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease? It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at InfoWars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at InfoWars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find it at InfoWarsShop.com, Non Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. Strategic relocation is a systematic way to think strategically in the future about how do I safeguard. Renowned author and expert, Joel Skousen. The U.S. isn't building huge underground bases and bunkers because of some terrorist threat. They know that a massive nuclear attack is coming. They want that attack to come. Joel Skousen is renowned as one of the world's foremost experts in strategic relocation and the securing of your home. What I tell people is that you do have time. We talk about natural disasters, the health environment. We talk about pollution, the water quality. My personal experience about being in every one of these states, most people won't even be ready and won't be able to get out of town because there'll be absolute panic. There is no preparedness without strategy. This Christmas, give the gift of preparedness. Strategic Relocation, the film, with Joel Skousen and Alex Jones. Available only at InfoWarsShop.com or by calling 888-253-3139.
Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. Rallying patriots worldwide. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. So, if you go up to Infowars.com, you can see the article, TSA shooting narrative disintegrates. And again, if you question known liars who've been caught staging events over and over again, you're a conspiracy theorist. But everybody in, in, in history, including our founding fathers especially, knew that you don't trust big government, big corporations, big powerful institutions. You've got to hold them to task because historically they are the most dangerous things around. Government in the 20th century, according to the University of Hawaii study, killed 262 million people in the last century alone. The term is democide if you'd like to look it up. That's non-military deaths, not military bombing London or bombing Dresden or bombing Tokyo, not the Allies attacking Germany or Germany attacking England. No, no. Governments lining people up and or hanging them, civilians, cold-bloodedly executing them, 262 mil. So it's always the biggest threat. But you say, hey, we better keep this government under control. Hey, the deficit's 17 trillion, and that's more than our GDP every year, and every economist says we're in deep trouble, basically. It, but Obama says, if you raise the debt ceiling, that doesn't raise the debt. And if you built a business, you didn't build that. And by the way, you're going to be able to keep your insurance. Don't listen to anybody that tells you that. Remember all these lies? And we'd say, actually, the bill says you can't keep your insurance in most cases, and it's going to double it. Shut up, racist. Literally. And you're like, what's that have to do with race? That's what all racists say. They just change the subject because it's a criminal takeover. So you've got the TSA that is outside of sworn officers, outside of esprit de corps, outside of military history, outside of the JAG culture, which isn't perfect, but compared to just a whole new agency and a whole new enforcement arm, that's what every dictator did. Lenin, Stalin, Mao, Hitler, Pol Pot, every uh, Caesar, when he took over, set up his own new internal police force. You always set up a new group that doesn't have cliques, that doesn't have infighting, which is a good thing, separation of powers, that doesn't have uh, any good guys in it, that doesn't have any checks and balances. You create your SS, your SA. And that's what the TSA is. And you laugh at them and go waddling around searching people. Well, now it's armed on the streets. Now it's armored vehicles. Now it's, you see, that's how this Praetorian Guard gets set up. And they always do it smartly as a non-threatening thing. So many people I've studied throughout history, you can study it as well, would like to say, we're going to have a port security force, just 10 guys. And then 10 years later, 20 years later, it's, it's 5,000 troops. I mean, I'm just using one example from the Byzantine Empire and one account I read of some local governor that created his own army that way. This is mission creep. And this is what these agencies do. And this is what all the military industrial complex, most of them foreign bank owned, are setting up is a militarization of everything. Where everything spies on us, everything tracks us, and we've got to pay for it. We got to pay for our car to have all these boxes taxing us and tracking us. We got to pay for the smart meter that dials into all our digital devices and surveils us on record. We, we pay for our own enslavement. We pay in the phone bill for fees under national security that paid since the Telecommunications Act of 96 to have the NSA grids put in. You pay for your own enslavement. And so I'm sitting here. Seeing the TSA have drills all over the United States of gun owners attacking them, libertarians attacking them. That way they can demonize their enemy. Oh, the people that don't like us are coming here and shoot us. And then magically it happens. And then magically we learn the sister airport had a drill. That airport at LAX just had a drill. And here is the headline, amazing headline out of the Digital Journal. LAX shooter, police trained for exact scenario three weeks ago. And we have an article up at InfoWars.com. 20 drills show that patriots 
are the main target of Homeland Security. There's the actual headline. I'm going from memory. 20 drills that prove the DHS official new enemy is the American people. Infowars.com. So I'm watching all this go on. And first we hear it's a TSA agent shooting people. And it's TSA agents that have been shot. And it's plainclothes people in suits and ties and dress shirts being drug out shot. So that doesn't fit. And then the story keeps changing, and that happens in a live event. But then the eyewitnesses, these aren't just reporters getting it wrong from the cops. These are eyewitnesses going, I saw him. He was in a TSA uniform with body armor. And I've told people this a hundred times, in fact, more than a hundred. I said last week multiple times, look for a mass shooting at the TSA. I don't know how I know this stuff, folks. A lot of people think I'm actually behind stuff, I guess, because I could figure it out. But I mean, I could see them branding something. It's like, how do I know a new McDonald's sandwich is coming out? The ads are everywhere. I mean, how do I know deer season's coming up? Oh, there's the deer season ads again. I mean, it's like, the, the libertarians are going to shoot us any minute. They're coming. And I'm like, it had to be Tuesday. I remember on the show, I don't have a crew to dig this stuff up. Listeners, can you dig it up? I said, if they ask you to go do a shooting drill or a bombing drill in an airport and you're an informant or you're a cop or you're whatever or a citizen, don't do it. They'll shoot you in the drill and shoot a bunch of people and blame you. How do I know this? They, this is how they do it. The czars used to have drills before the Soviets came in and before, the, before that, the Bolsheviks. They would have drills and get patsies involved. And then they do it during the drill in case their people get caught. They say, oh, it's part of the drill, just like the Boston bombing. Turned out a local paper screwed up and reported, oh, yeah, there was a drill of a bombing right there where it happened. Boston Globe and a local TV station. Look it up. And the people involved in the drill, they're not involved in the bombing. That way, if they're one guy going in or the one guy from the ceiling shooting people or whatever the case was, that, you know, they shoot a few people, shoot the guy that's in the drill, then you get to shut them up. There it is, police responding, training plan, but bombs hit first. Yeah, there's the Boston Globe. They trained months before and on the day of, of the bomb at the finish line. Again, they've even declassified in different government documents like Northwoods how they use a drill to cover up the real attack. It's not like I figured this out on my own. A lot of these manuals have been declassified. Then they say by accident and then reclassified. So when we come back, I'm going to play you the clips of witnesses saying he was in a TSA uniform. And then, and then, and then they say, oh, they shot TSA agents in their outfits, in their uniforms, in their costumes, their authority costumes. And then it's video the sh people shot weren't. And then there's the drills. And we're going to go over this at that airport and other airports of the exact same scenario when there'd never been a libertarian who's against the New World Order, Southern Poverty Law Center, Fed Run, comes out and ties it to Alex Jones and Glenn Beck and people that don't like the TSA. When I just released two weeks ago, what well, was in the Federal Register, but they, de they reclassified it, they accidentally declassified it, uh, that they admit in federal court it's all fake and not for terrorists, and it's for the American people and for capital controls to keep you from fleeing during a depression when everything implodes. These are the border and highway police to shake everybody down and basically take you to the FEMA camp. If they decide you've got a designation in the NSA uh, file that they could use in slave labor. And by the way, that's the Emergency Centers Establishment Act and in the Civilian Inmate Labor Camp Program. That if you're a doctor, an auto mechanic, you're going to the slave camp with pot bellies standing over you. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. 
TheraSafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarshop.com, and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here, and I want to tell you about a longtime friend of the show, My Patriot Supply. As you might remember, this is the company that stood up to the DHS and exposed FEMA's secret plan to begin hoarding emergency survival food. It has always been my belief that it's key to stand behind companies who share the same values as their fellow patriots. My Patriot Supply brings us their exclusive Patriot Pantry brand, along with many other fine preparedness products. I personally store and use their high quality products. It tastes great and it's easy to store for up to 25 years. For a limited time, you can save $50 instantly on a four week supply of food, along with other special offers. Visit mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today. With the new world order making rapid advances on every front, it is essential to prepare with My Patriot Supply today. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at InfoWars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at InfoWars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find it at InfoWarsShop.com, None Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. All right, coming up in the next segment, your phone calls on any subject you want to cover. 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539. First-time callers, yet again today, 877-789-2539. And we'll get you up and on the air. What do you think about the LAX shooting? Is it suspicious to you? Look, it's very simple. The government and the, and the interests that run it act like they're so concerned about one dead person. Who well, I'm actually concerned about. I have empathy for everybody who was a TSA um, attendant or guard, whatever you want to call them. They're not really officers. They're not sworn. I'm sad they were shot and killed. And it appears that this shooting did indeed happen. Sometimes they just say something happened that didn't even happen entirely. That's how controlled uh, the state-run media is. But it is, it is an elementary equation throughout history that governments and other groups stage events to blame it on their political opposition. 
it's a false flag, it's a self-inflicted wound, it's a staged event, uh, it is a inside job, and then the establishment media ridicules anyone who points out a historical fact that most big internal uh, terroristic events in the last really 200 years, it's turned out were staged as a way for the establishment to go after their political enemies. Frame-ups are incredibly, incredibly common. And it even came out in mainstream media and even Glenn Beck and Rush Limbaugh and Michael Savage had to come out and say it looks like NATO and Obama staged chemical attacks in Syria with Al-Qaeda to blame it on their enemies. So we've come a long way. The fact that governments and criminal groups do this is a fact. I'm not saying this was staged, but the evidence, the preponderance of, of information leans towards that and the timing of it. The drills that a libertarian anti-TSA person is going to come in and shoot everybody and it comes to a crescendo in the media to the point of, I said multiple times last week, on record, don't be part of a drill or if you see a drill at an airport, get out of there. And then it happens. That's all I'm saying. And then the media jumps on it like it's a new 9-11 end of the world. You would have thought a thousand people are dead. I mean, they can have an earthquake and 50,000 people die. And it's not even in the news. Or there can be fires that kill 100 people. And then it's not even the news. Or there can be a flood displacing millions, barely in the news. But man, you get one government person shot. It's like the earth split in two and blew up like the Death Star. And that is the propaganda. You got 53 million abortions. You got kids getting sterilized, getting paralyzed from vaccines. You've got all these other health effects. You got 300,000 a year on average dying from flesh eating bacteria. Isn't even an issue. Just in the US, you've got all 200 people dying from honeybees each year. Uh, hundreds dying from deer running out in front of their cars. Are they setting up deer fences everywhere to stop that? No, people die. But when it's the government being attacked, oh my gosh, it's the end of the world, and it's the anti-government people. It's Alex Jones, and it's Glenn Beck, and oh my, I mean, it's in AP, and, and CNN, and MSNBC, and Raw Story, and Southern Poverty Law Center is the one that put it out. Because it turns out yesterday... Less than a day after all this happens, the Southern Poverty Law Center has access to the police and a letter stuck in this guy. How do you pronounce this guy's name? Paul Ciencia? So you've got Paul Ciencia, reportedly, and he's got a note in his bag that he did this because he doesn't like authoritarian government. That's a quote. And he doesn't like the New World Order, and he doesn't like the TSA violating his rights. And the TSA said two weeks ago, they said in, in announcements, if you criticize or ask us questions or make jokes, we're going to arrest you. That's terrorism. Just See, we're now the enemy. Suddenly, it's us. And people are like, well, just go through the security. Put up with it. This is a bathing in tyranny. This is a breaking of our will. This is a learn to be perps, learn to be prisoners. This is what prisoners go through when they show up at medium and maximum security prisons is what the TSA does to you. This is the, the, the enslavement, the, the antithesis of what our republic was founded on. And if you don't do it, you're not a good American. So Paul Ciencia, uh, who's unconscious, we're told, and if he pleads not guilty later and says there were other shooters like the the lone living Boston bombing patsy, you'll never hear about that. It'll be national security. The trial's secret. Well, we know why it's secret. Tamerlan, the older brother of Zarnev, on record was working with the CIA. That came out in British, German, and Russian news. There was a drill. There was a stand down. They set those brothers up and they screamed at cops. We didn't do it. We're not part of it. As they shot his brother and ran over him and then chased the other one. Then shot up his boat with 50 cops and he climbs out and then they had to cut his throat out so he couldn't talk. By the way, I've talked to the police involved, just so you know, ladies and gentlemen. Just like we broke, there was an order by Obama for a stand down. A stand down 
at the naval yard shooting by the SWAT team from the Capitol that happened to be driving by right when it happened a mile away and were fully locked and loaded to go in and stop whatever happened. National security got declared on that one. On and on and on. This is how they set up the police state. This is how they take over. You want to take over the Middle East? Fund Al-Qaeda, have them blow stuff up. You want to take over America? Well, fund Al-Qaeda to blow stuff up, but then come in and flip it onto the American people. So let's go over some of the evidence here. But I just want to remind you, they are now coming out in literally hundreds of publications as we speak. It was like 10 yesterday, more than I could count this morning, and it's just flooding. Now, it's all over the news. The videos are coming into our inbox. As they say, Alex Jones is the one that, that coined the term New World Order. They actually say that in one article. Hitler used the term New World Order first on record before I was born. I was born in 74. Hitler used the term in 1936. You can look it up. At the Olympics that he basically founded, the modern Olympics. See, I'm cursed by being informed. It's like, it's like I'm here talking about, I guess, rocket science to the public. And they just think, that guy talks fancy. He's trying to show off. He's a terrorist. I hope somebody in a black uniform takes my guns to keep me safe from people like him. He scared me. Government love me. Like you're some domesticated pot-bellied pig or something I saw at the Austin Zoo yesterday with my children. I mean, does anyone really buy into all this fraud? All I know is we've got groups that stand again from staging stuff or letting it happen, who have a history of doing it, and who have the motive to seize power and blame us for political events. Before we go to break, let's play one of these clips. Here's uh, KTLA with one of the countless videos we have of folks saying they saw the shooter with the gun in a TSA uniform. Correct. There's two weapons playing playing a part, and this gunman looked like a TSA agent to me, because he was dressed like them, like a security, a TSA agent, and he was pretty big. I mean, bigger than me, like body wise. So I bet, I bet if he was gonna go crazy today, he was. All right, that's enough. Body armor. We got a whole bunch of videos like this. Let's go to the one where they did a drill of the exact same thing. And I think this is CBS. Cue up the one of the drill of the exact same thing. Yep, here we go. The officers didn't, I repeat, they didn't hesitate. They went after this individual and they confronted this individual in our, in our, in our airport. And unfortunately, it involved an officer-involved shooting. But that's what needed to be done in that particular situation, and that was heroic. We practiced to this not more than three weeks ago. We took every one of our officers, our patrol officers, and a couple of hundred officers from the Los Angeles Police Department, and we practiced the exact And scenario. I remember being on air at the time, as God is my witness, you can pull it up, and I said, watch him stage something in LAX. I remember on air, because the way the media was smacking their lips and had that look in their eye like the word had been given. These people, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Man, I tell you, I can't handle it anymore. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. Strategic relocation is a systematic way to think strategically in the future about how do I safeguard. Renowned author and expert, Joel Skousen. The U.S. isn't building huge underground bases and bunkers because of some terrorist threat. They know that a massive nuclear attack is coming. They want that attack to come. Joel Skousen is renowned as one of the world's foremost experts in strategic relocation and the securing of your home. 
What I tell people is that you do have time. We talk about natural disasters, the health environment. We talk about pollution, the water quality. My personal experience about being in every one of these states, most people won't even be ready and won't be able to get out of town because there'll be absolute panic. There is no preparedness without strategy. This Christmas, give the gift of preparedness. Strategic Relocation, the film, with Joel Skelson and Alex Jones. Available only at InfoWarsShop.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here, and I want to tell you about a longtime friend of the show, My Patriot Supply. As you might remember, this is the company that stood up to the DHS and exposed FEMA's secret plan to begin hoarding emergency survival food. It has always been my belief that it's key to stand behind companies who share the same values as their fellow patriots. My Patriot Supply brings us their exclusive Patriot Pantry brand, along with many other fine preparedness products. I personally store and use their high quality products. It tastes great and it's easy to store for up to 25 years. For a limited time, you can save $50 instantly on a four week supply of food, along with other special offers. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today. With the New World Order making rapid advances on every front, it is essential to prepare with My Patriot Supply today. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. You are obsolete, Mr. Wordsworth. A lie! No man is obsolete! You have no function, Mr. Wordsworth. You're an anachronism, like a ghost from another time. I am nothing more than a reminder to you that you cannot destroy truth by burning pages. You're a bug! Mr. Wordsworth, a crawling insect, an ugly, misformed little creature who has no purpose here, no meaning. I am a human being. Words, Mr. Wordsworth, that have no substance and no dimension, like air, like the wind. I don't care. I tell you, I don't care. I'm a human being. I exist. And if I speak one thought aloud, that thought lives even after I'm shoveled into my grave. Delusions, Mr. Wordsworth. Delusions that you inject into your veins to make you think you have a strength when you have no strength at all. You have nothing but spindly limbs and a dream. And the state has no use for your kind. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. 236 years ago, the British newspapers, nothing against the great British people. I myself have got a lot of blood from the uh, aisles over there. They declared that the colonists were terrorists. That they were thieves, thugs, highwaymen that they would be dealt with. And of course, they ended up founding this republic. On the Bill of Rights and Constitution and the ideas of English common law that had been developed by their predecessors, they honored the good Englishmen and women who had stood for Magna Carta in 1215. So we, we salute the real Britannic roots today, not the fact that the globalists use England as one of their main command bases. Now, continuing, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to your phone calls coming up here in just a few minutes. I want to make it clear. 
governments throughout history and also private groups stage events to blame their political enemies. That's a fact. False flags are a part of history. They're very common. But when you see the establishment state-run media come out less than 24 hours after this tragic event that's been blown way out of proportion compared to disasters a thousand times bigger, when you see all the scripting and you see all the telltale signs, and when you see political enemies, Republicans, conservatives, constitutionalists, veterans, libertarians, but number one, Alex Jones and Glenn Beck. And look, folks, I'm not in competition with Glenn Beck, even though his show is very similar to mine. I agree with 95% of what's on his show. I don't want them to go after Glenn Beck. If they try to blame him for things he has nothing to do with, I'm going to defend him. I am absolutely nonviolent offensively. Do not start anything. Do not go shoot anybody. Don't shoot cops at a checkpoint. Don't shoot FBI agents. Don't shoot ATF agents. Do not go out looking for trouble. If somebody comes up shooting at you, like Sheriff John Brown uh, in the famous song uh, talking about, uh, I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. Here came John Brown coming down the road to shoot me, so I shot first. That's a different issue. But we're not trying to cause a civil war here. The globalists are. We don't want a fight with the police and the military. We have more in common with them times 100 than we do the offshore globalists that are manipulating this. And the police and military are smart enough, being on the inside, to understand that and realize there's a manipulation happening here. So they chose Los Angeles or something like that. And that's my gut. That's my inclination. I now remember three weeks ago with the drill at LAX, the mass shooting, saying, oh, my gosh, when they do stuff like this, look out, it's L.A. If they're going to stage something, it'd be a place like L.A. I remember saying it. You remember. Go to all the YouTube videos, the prisonplanet.tvs, find it, post it. And, and then I said this week multiple times, look for a staged attack at a checkpoint or a police station or a TSA line. Because I just see all the pre-programming. It's like, how do you know? You always forget falls coming around till you see Christmas stuff. You go to the mall, there's Christmas music. It's the same thing with the PR rollout. It's just everywhere. The libertarians are going to come to the airport and shoot everybody. Never happened before. And I'm like, wow, they're in all these movies and dramas and sitcoms. It's the anti-New World Order people. They're going to kill everybody. Get ready for it to be staged. Or... This could be a mentally ill person that sees the countless cop shows and TV shows, Hawaii Five O, every show I see, every show my crew tells me about, we play clips, is the libertarian liberty lover, shoots up the TSA, murders the children, on and on and on, the demonization, when it's not happening in the real world, so they don't even have to stage it sometimes. Copycats will see that, and it puts the idea in their mind. You know, New York, Chicago, L.A. police famously, every time somebody gets up on a skyscraper and jumps off, they know for two days to post police there or to put up fences because somebody sees one person jump off the Empire State's building, suddenly it's on the news. People that are suicidal go, I was going to blow my head off today. Let me go to the Empire State's building to do that. Now it's all plexiglassed in. You can't. This is mob psychology. And they show you images of running people at LAX and all the fear and, oh, my gosh, I better do what they say. It's the libertarians. They're coming to kill me. It's a psyop, even if this guy was unstable and went and did this. Regardless, people have died. It's terrible. But why is it being pushed so much? See what I'm saying? Meanwhile... One week after they passed Obamacare, three and a half years ago, Newsweek had the cover of the case for killing granny, showing an old woman being unplugged. Bill Gates came out and said the death panels are real, kill a grandma, hire 10 teachers. It was, the death panels were in there. The bioethics boards. We knew what this was going to do. Rahm Emanuel's brother had written white papers, Ezekiel Emanuel. His brother was the chief of staff at the time, now Chicago mayor, Chicago Don. And he came out and, and admitted all this, and they would control us through the health care. Well, now he's come out and admitted, okay, you are going to have no more private market where you go out and buy what you want, no more market. That's because the insurance companies want it. And what he's saying is true, but their plan was to destroy it. The insurance companies will still get all the money as foreign banks. That's what they are. But you won't have a choice. That's why it doubled this year. That's why it's set to triple next year and quadruple by 20.
middle of 2014. The numbers vary. In fact, it's worse than I even prognosticated trying to read the riders. It's a bunch of special interest in there. Get whatever they want. Big insurance companies shut down little ones, shut down competition. Shut down what type of test and health care people can get, but you still got to buy expensive health care that's double the price. Uh, on and on and on. I mean, it is a wreck Medicare, Medicaid. Uh, let the government give you less care. This is the greatest screw job in history. And everything we said about it was accurate with our guests and experts to a point. But I was wrong. Obamacare, I was right up to a point of how bad I thought it would get from the legislation, trying to read it, understand it. And, but, but I couldn't believe that they're this arrogant and think you're this dumb. It was light years beyond, beyond what I thought. So it, it, I was wrong here. This was much worse than I even thought. Obama was much worse than I thought. I mean, I knew he'd be bad, but I mean, this is unbelievable. So let's go to a video clip of him on Fox News Sunday. This is today. Admitting, but, but spinning it like, oh, the insurance companies are the ones. They did it, not us, which is true, though. But, but still gets Obama out of the trouble. Not all the insurance companies. I have family that works in major health care management. Okay, they're all getting out of it, not because they don't want to not make money or because they're bad. It's because it's written where little operators can't operate. The, uh, it's written to shut down competition, folks, just like Obama shut down our coal power plants. And you're seeing the evidence of that now. So let's go to this clip of the architect, one of the main architects of Obamacare, now admitting what we told you was going to happen. You're not going to have a health market. You're just going to have to buy whatever the insurance companies say because they bought off the government. Here it is. People, made that pledge, Mr. Before, people who knew the law as it was being written knew the president wasn't telling the truth. The grandfather exactly. provision written into the law itself was too narrow. And frankly, they wrote a regulation intentionally trying to get people out of the individual market. Look, they the want the people to go into the exchanges because there's a lot of people in the individual market. The whole point of the exchanges is to close down the individual insurance market the over insurance time. Company, they wait wanted a to move insurance millions of people into the exchanges. Insurance companies it was intentional. Don't want Go Insurance ahead. companies don't like the individual market as it's constructed. They see the future. That individual market is going away. They don't want to invest in it. But that's, that's not why what the president said. Let me finish. The president let, me said, let me switch. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Rahm Emanuel's brother who, who helped write the bill. The eugenicist doctor that says reduce population death panels. We have clips of him. We played it three years ago trying to stop this. You didn't listen to us, or at least the rest of the public didn't. And, and did you hear it? The insurance companies see the future. It's going away. It was meant to wreck it and give us what England has, everything else, where it's not free. You pay 30% of your paycheck for it. And then when my crew members that live in England go to get health care, they can't get it with their national health care card. You can have rot throat, strip throat. You don't get health care. Just go home and die. Okay, this is it. See how funny it is to them? They see the future wrecking the free market. But, but get this, you will still pay to foreign banks. Private interest will get your money. We'll be right back, second hour coming up. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The 
KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation 3rd Edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The ruling class of this world is completely dishonorable, deceptive, and manipulative. And they've set up huge social engineering programs of control. That's really my bottom line, why I'm so upset about what these globalists are up to. I'm going to go to some of your phone calls, then I'll get into the NSA news, the rest of the Obamacare news. Obama out bragging that he is, quote, really, I'm really good at killing people. We're going to look at uh, Panetta says U.S. may have to use military force against Iran. How a war game brought the world to the brink of nuclear disaster. Uh, cars controlled by your mind. Actually, the car controlling you. It says if it, it decides if you're sleepy, it just stops the car and it calls the police on you. We're going to be talking about this control grid, the uh, technocracy already going into place. That's all coming up in this hour. Right now, we've got Scott, Scott, Ryan, Frank, Chris, Jerry, Caleb, Alan, Damian, Tyler, James, Lakey, and many others. Scott in Indiana, thanks for holding here on the air worldwide. Hey, Alex, um, I'm points. First of all, I'm 14, and you opened up eyes uh, in February of this year. Well, I'm so sad to hear you're 14, sir. The globalists would like it if you drank more fluoride and ate more GMO and weren't here. This is this is David Rockefeller and uh, other people's planet, like Ted Turner. How dare you be on the earth breathing their air, sir? <laughs> well, my second point is I helped a man named Amin Nasir get on Gigi Ernetta's uh, InfoWars nightly news interview. And his next goal is to get on your show, and I didn't know if to interview him or not. You know, I saw that report, and it was a, a very interesting report. People uh, liked it. It was popular. Maybe I should uh, try to get him on. But uh, what is your take on uh, the shooting where where their drills now become reality? No libertarian or conservative ever went to an airport and shot anybody, but magically it's now happened. Uh, just, boy, jeepers creepers. Uh, I guess I'm not supposed to question anything. <laughs> predicted something like that two months ago to my grandpa, and I knew they were going to blame it on uh, Patriots sooner or later. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if you don't like somebody grabbing your wife's breast, you must be a terrorist. Yeah, I know. Well, in a nutshell, tell folks about that report by that Iranian filmmaker that you were mentioning. I mean, give people a synopsis. Okay. I hope you get them on your show. No, no, I hear you. I appreciate your call, bro. I was saying, talk about the film. Thank you, Scott. Let's talk to another Scott. Scott in Michigan. You're on the air worldwide, sir. Hello, Alex. I, I got some information on the LAX shooting. My sister-in-law and brother were at the airport 30 minutes after the incident, and supposedly she saw someone on the ground bleeding. And if you're a human bleeding from a gunshot 30 minutes after the event, you're an actor with fake blood. I was a fireman. I know that the first thing you do is you get the wounded to the hospital. Well, that's you right. You go into bleeding. shock. You go into shock, and you die of it's a serious wound. And within minutes, uh, you've got somebody tourniquet, and you've got a stretcher. That is, and you know that's in the news. That like forty-five minutes later, people still saw folks bleeding. If you only got six wounded with all these police and stuff, they'd be on gurneys. What in fifteen, twenty minutes at an airport? At the most, it'd be five, ten minutes. I was a fireman. And that's the first thing you do is you stabilize the victims and you get them to the hospital. You don't leave them there for 30 minutes unless Godzilla himself is standing outside the building. And even then, you'd still try to get them to the hospital. Well, sir, the government is doing a good job. And if you question them, that's, that's hate-mongering and racist. And it doesn't matter if they're all announcing world government and calling it a new world order. The media says that I made up this term and that I made the, the, the shooter, the alleged shooter, do this. And I'm just getting used to learning that I'm. it's my fault. Everything happens. I'm kind of like Godzilla, actually. 
Uh, I'm just causing all these horrible things to happen. Of course, it's not really true. I have a good idea who's making it happen. As we go out to break, sir, uh, Scott, what do you think is going on here? Uh, I'm thinking at least it had to be at least partially staged. Uh, they're you're going to use this to try to increase the arms of the TSA and try to get them guns so that somebody that was working flipping burgers at McDonald's yesterday can be standing there with a gun with their hands in your pants. That's exactly who they want. They want to take their welfare army, cut them off welfare, make them brigade level, every town, goon force. That's what they do. That's the commie plan. Well said. You're on target. We'll be right back with the Humet. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. KMLN Los Angeles Clone Radio. We play the songs that sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Clone. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. I'm nobody special, except I'm red-blooded just like you. I'm like my forebearers. I'm not a coward. I'm not a slug. And I can see a bunch of con artists, globalists, trying to take over my world and make myself and my family their slaves and their property. I can see it coming a trillion miles away, but it's in our face, stomping our guts out, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to stand up and do something about this? Are we going to become aware of this or just keep denying it, denying it, denying it when it becomes more and more obvious in our face? Go into your phone calls, but this piece up on Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, it's going viral right now via DrudgeReport.com, Gateway Pundit this morning, architect of Obamacare, Ezekiel Emanuel, Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel, is debating one of the people on Fox Sunday, Fox News Sunday, and he says, hey, the insurance companies see the future. They know there's no more individual health care. You don't have a choice. This is the future. And that, yeah, we could read the bill. Government involvement is what took the best health care system in the last 30 years and wrecked it and made it the most expensive. And now you're going to come in and it's already doubled in a year and it's going to triple, quadruple, and, and they're going to wreck the health care mandate and bring in eugenics and social engineering and it's admitted in Obamacare, what you eat off your credit cards is tracked to decide what you pay. I mean, we're collectivized with all these other people now telling us what to do in our lives. This is the opposite of freedom. This is what wrecks countries. But it's what gives these control freaks control of our lives, and it's what they lust after. It is a nightmare in England, a nightmare in Canada. And, and they lied to us, Obama. We ought to cue that up after this clip and play it before we go back to calls, where he said, I'm not going to get rid of your health care. Nobody's taking it. That's a conspiracy theory. It's 3 million people now conservatively. It was 2 million a week ago who have been kicked off their health plans. In Texas, they're up 539%. That's mainstream news. 
California, 200 and something percent. This is a giant raping, a private tax to private insurance companies. Of course, it's going to go up if you've got to buy their product and they can cut the type of care you get. But Obama wants to give me something free. There isn't any free lunches, dumbos. I'm talking to new listeners. Man, you people are gullible. Do we have to collapse everything before you figure it out? There's NBC News. Obama administration and millions could not keep their health insurance, and they admit now he lied. But see, he can be politically destroyed now. He's the puppet. He knows the game. What about the people that put him in and did all this and the Republican leadership trying to stop the Tea Party right now from defeating this? You got the Republican leadership, the Democratic leadership attacking the Tea Party because it's real Americans. And all you gullible yuppies go, it's popular, not like the Tea Party. Well, bend over, buddy. Let's uh, go ahead and go to uh, Ron Emanuel's brother, architect of the O-Rapacare, O-Scamacare, O-Fraudacare, O-Peace Prize Care. Oh, foreign bank care, Obamacare, admitting what we told you for six years and for three and a half years when it passed, emergency red level, this is a total foreign banking tax, just like they do to other countries. Here it is. People, People, who, knew that knew the law, People who knew the law as it was being written knew the president wasn't telling the truth. The grandfather exactly. provision written into the law itself was too narrow, and frankly, they wrote a regulation intentionally trying That's to get right. people out of the individual market. But if you they read that regulation, to go into the exchanges because there's a lot of people in the individual market. The whole point of the exchanges is to close down the individual insurance market. Over time. James Caporetti wanted to move insurance millions of people into the exchanges. Insurance companies was don't want. Insurance ahead. companies don't like the individual market as it's constructed. They see the future. That individual market is going away. They don't want to invest in it. But that's that's not why. What the president well, said. Let me finish. The president let me said. Let me switch. That's Ezekiel Emanuel. Remember, it's a conspiracy theory. We don't want to wreck health care. You're going to keep your insurance. You can still go shop. This is just to cover the 35 million that aren't. Blah, blah, blah. Now they're like 35 million more illegals. They're going to give free health care. This is a mafia takeover. And, of course, they've got the ADL and Southern Bravery Law Center all over the news saying I'm a terrorist. All over the news saying I'm a racist. Not one clip of proof. Or I'm behind all this crime. Because I'm just up here going... Oh, hey, these guys are scam artists. <laughs> but hey, here's the, here's the issue. You're not going to stop now all the other talk show hosts and all the other media people and all the other blogs and all the other news sites. We've all got it now. I'm passe now. Most of what I say is now mainstream. And I'm not radicalizing to be different now. I'm ready to become mainline and take the country back. I'm not a radical. I'm a restorationist. I'm a common sense guy. I want you to do well. I get upset by seeing somebody cheated, somebody bamboozled, somebody scammed. I try to warn people. I try to, if I see somebody in a grocery store, you know, right next to the uh, butternut squashes, and, I, and they've got them on the other side at half price, I'll tell them. I'm a busybody. I'm a troublemaker. I'm a terrorist. I mean, I, I, I had medical doctors and experts and healthcare managers on who were already retired and freaking out. They didn't have a dog in the fight except for justice, saying this is the biggest screw job in history. It's going to shut down all the small insurance companies, all the HMOs, all the clinics, all these clinics like Scott and White and all these other groups that give super low-cost, high-quality health care. It, it, it makes it cost prohibitive now. They've got to raise prices. It's about, it's about muscling everybody. We've got another clip here uh, lined up. Uh, we've got a bunch of clips lined up. Which which clip is that? Oh, yeah, you can keep your plan. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, yeah. Here's Obama three and a half years ago on the eve of passing this going, well, come on, folks. <laughs> you can keep your plan. Don't listen to the people that say that. I'm your friend. And don't listen to people that say that we're this is meant to wreck individual health care and create a big government system where private groups get the controlled profits. Again, the big 10 insurance companies want to shut down over 200 small ones, and they are. <laughs> They're going to get rid of that competition, folks. And all of you out there that support Obama, you're going to go along with it because your identity is in Obama, not in being a free person. And that's why they're doing this. They've already assessed you. They know you're a peer pressure-driven chump. And Republicans won't admit, the Republican leadership wrote this as well. You won't admit Karl Rove and all those guys uh, did this to you. So you're all done. You love it. You asked for it. You're going to get it. 
it'll be quadruple by the time they're done. And then it's going to be taxes by the mile in your car. Let's go to Obama. There, there's 10 minutes of these, but let's play a minute of him promising people you can stay on your insurance. Here it is. We will keep this promise to the American people. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. Total lie. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. Total lie. Period. Period. He said period. If you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor. You can keep your plan. Nobody is talking about Get in my car, child. I have a puppy. No matter what you've heard. Period. If you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep your plan. You like it, folks? Period. If you are among the hundreds period. of millions of Americans who he already says, have period. health insurance so through it makes your it okay. or Medicare, or Medicaid, or the VA, nothing in this plan will require you or your employer to change the coverage of the doctor you have. That's State of the Union, September 9th, 2009. Just shut it off. Shut it off. We're going to go to break, come back, go to your calls. I'm too upset right now. I mean, all over the news, they're saying I'm behind the LAX shooting because I dare play clips of him lying. I, I, I'm a terrorist. I'm just some talk show host warning you, but you heard I'm the terrorist. They're the good guys, folks. They're your friends. I'm the bad guy. I admit it's all my fault. Obama's our savior. Turn in your guns. They'll treat you nice. In every case in history, bending over to government is the answer. Of course, it isn't. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for truth seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find it at InfoWarsShop.com, Non Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Strategic relocation is a systematic way to think strategically in the future about how do I safeguard. Renowned author and expert, Joel Skousen. The U.S. isn't building huge underground bases and bunkers because of some terrorist threat. They know that a massive nuclear attack is coming. They want that attack to come. Joel Skousen is renowned as one of the world's foremost experts in strategic relocation and the securing of your home. What I tell people is that you do have time. We talk about natural disasters, the health environment. We talk about pollution, the water quality. My personal experience about being in every one of these states, most people won't even be ready and won't be able to get out of town because there'll be absolute panic. There is no preparedness without strategy. This Christmas, give the gift of preparedness. Strategic Relocation, the film, with Joel Skousen and Alex Jones. Available only at InfoWarsShop.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here, and I want to tell you about a longtime friend of the show, My Patriot Supply. As you might remember, this is the company that stood up to the DHS and exposed FEMA's secret plan to begin hoarding emergency survival food. 
it has always been my belief that it's key to stand behind companies who share the same values as their fellow patriots. My Patriot Supply brings us their exclusive Patriot Pantry brand, along with many other fine preparedness products. I personally store and use their high quality products. It tastes great and it's easy to store for up to 25 years. For a limited time, you can save $50 instantly on a four week supply of food, along with other special offers. Visit mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today. With the new world order making rapid advances on every front, it is essential to prepare with My Patriot Supply today. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. You know, I talk to so many Obama supporters and they say, why would he do that to me? I voted for him. He loves me. No, he's run mainly by offshore banks that own our military industrial complex, that own the big insurance companies who write the legislation to absolutely impoverish you transfer the wealth to themselves as a way to control and run your life. And you're going to have to admit to yourself this is social engineering if you have any hope of ever getting out of it. Just because you're a nice person doesn't mean the robber barons that live in castles are. They're not. But see, you only think a middle class person is bad. Someone with $5 more than you is an evil, rich scumbag. You want their money right now. That's social engineering. That's social uh, warfare, class warfare. But if it's a big, ultra-rich guy calling for more taxes in the middle class, well, Warren Buffett's your friend. And that's why you're a failure, is because you are gullible, like a little fishy coming and biting on the hooky. And free people are not that gullible. So I'm begging you to admit you've been conned and to admit you've been bamboozled and to admit you've been manipulated because knowing is, as the army used to say, half the battle. Let's go to your phone calls fast. Frank in North Carolina. Thanks for holding. You're on the air worldwide. Yeah, I just have a quick uh, possible news tip. It may be nothing, but uh, I was sitting in traffic the other day. I don't normally listen to him. Turn him on. I, I don't know the context exactly, but Rush Limbaugh was talking. Uh, he was giving tips, it sounds like, to his audience to turn off their cell phones when they get onto an airplane because everybody knows cell phones don't work. And what he was trying to warn people, it drains your battery down because the whole time, once you, you know, take off, uh, you're your phone is going to constantly be searching. It's for constantly it. trying to make access with the cell towers, but cell phones don't work about about 4,000 feet except on 9-11. Then they all work perfectly, even though the FBI had to admit uh, almost all those phone calls except for air phones were not made, including the Solicitor General's wife. It was all fake, but let's just ignore that. Well, I just think it's interesting I, that he was talking about that. I, I had mentioned once before, back in the around the 9th of uh, January, back in 2009, and he was not joking. Uh, it may have been a stunt of some type, uh, some type of a contractual stunt. Uh, maybe he was trying to get more money, or maybe he was trying to scare some people. Like, hey, if you want, I'll start telling you know what's really going on. But uh, he was telling how the world worked. He was talking about the CFR. He's like the presidents, the Congress are ceremonial. Uh, I mean, he sounded like Alex Jones. Uh, he went to a commercial break, came back. It was like it never happened. None of the callers mentioned it. I don't know if it was like a test to see if the sheep would, would see, but it was definitely not a joke. He was not. Well, joking. I know for a fact Rush Limbaugh uh, obviously uh, is aware of what's going on, so I'll just leave it at that. And whatever. There's just no future if we don't turn this around. The problem is the public is so dumbed down and cowardly. A lot of folks won't stick their neck out because why should they? Uh, the public. The general public wants to be wants to be abused. They want to be chumped. It's very sad. I appreciate your call. I appreciate uh, Chris calling in as well from Indiana. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, yeah, Alex. Uh, most of the public is like Parson from 1984, who was collecting all the money and who believed that the chocolate ration going down was a good thing and standing up and clapping for it. Well, that's right, because as long as they cheer the system, it doesn't matter if their kids are dying in front of them. If they imagine it's okay, 
They're like optimist on PCP. And, and being an optimist when bad stuff's happening is not good. It's good when things are bad to admit they're bad, to make your condition better, and to not live in denial. But it's all part of this magical thinking. Oh, Alex, don't be so negative about our $7 trillion deficit. Don't be so negative about the communist Chinese taking over the Panama Canal and building a $40 billion new one. Alex, don't be so negative about our IQs dropping and, 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 and the average person being close to bankruptcy. Just be positive. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be positive, then everything's fine. Everything's wonderful. Obamacare is a great success, uh, isn't it, Chris? Oh, yeah. I was just wearing that Obama mask. I work in the healthcare system here in South Bend, Indiana, and I was wearing that Obama mask that you have on your Infowars.com magazine for October, and everyone was just loving it. You know, I, I had, like, the upper management come by and taking pictures of me and stuff. Yeah, for those that don't know, you could cut off the cover. It was Obamacare as a skull, which is death for the elderly and others. Death panels, the trendies love it. It's liberal. They think they get some more welfare if they kill somebody. Of course, they'll be killed as well. Just teaching them to have that idea. And so what happened when you were wearing the loving Obamacare mask? No, I was. I, I got a very positive response from my coworkers. They were all like, "Yeah, I know it's gonna make people. They're gonna cut their hours and everything from forty hours to twenty nine hours." I wanted to get to a very important predictive programming issue. I, it sounds very into my know, Alex, but I just I have to bring this up. Last Christmas, uh, I was watching Home Alone Two: Lost in New York with Macaulay Culkin and Joe Pesci and so forth, and it was very strange because I've seen this movie before and I never noticed this, but at the last segment, at the very start, he's running around New York and stuff and he's having fun and all that. And he's on the World Trade Center. He's on the observation deck taking Polaroid photos and so forth. And it zooms out and it very next scene, it has a huge bold lettered clad thing saying airport security. It just quick snap your fingers from the World Trade Center. Well, that might have been a coincidence, but I appreciate your call. There's no doubt that the CIA came to Fox, because I've talked to people involved, Dean Hagelin and others, and said, we want an episode where a jet flies in the World Trade Center and blows it up to attack Afghanistan, but it's really the government in a drill, remote control, but we blame it on Muslims. And then six months later, that happened. And, and listen, it, it isn't just that I'd covered that show. I get a call from like 93.7's producer, sister station to 5.90 a.m. And she goes, hey, uh, Dean Dean Haglin, is it Hagman? I can't remember. The, the, the One of the stars of the X-Files and Lone Gunman, Dean Hagman. He wants to come to your house. And I knew she was for real, real person. I went, when? Uh, 24 hours from now, tomorrow night. So I said, all right. And here comes the guy from the X-Files. He pulls up, gets out. He goes, you know, you're right about that being staged. The CIA came to us. And, uh, you know, the maker of the X-Files was all freaked out and everything after it happened. Chris Carter, I mean, this is the twilight zone I'm living in, folks. And then I sat him down in my house in my living room, actually in my office, and shot a video interview in my house. That interview's on YouTube. It's on prisonplanet.tv with him saying this. And then later, Chris Carter was in the news like three years later saying similar stuff. I mean, it's like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, it just never seems to end. Look, this is what I got to do. I've got Obama bypassing Congress with an executive order for massive carbon taxes I've got to get to. I've got NSA news, huge Middle East news, economic news. Um, it's up on DrudgeReport.com, right-hand side. Big, big story uh, that I want to cover dealing with um, the food banks. They're saying they're running out of food. They're panicking. The welfare checks have been cut. The food stamps have been cut. They're going to run out of food very, very soon. You notice Obama got elected, got the health care in, got the implosion going. Now they cut the welfare off. It's all meant under Cloward and Piven, all declassified, to bankrupt the country, to make you dependent. Just like the author of Obamacare said, Ezekiel Emanuel. He said, hey, we're going to blow out the health care. It's the plan. See, now they've got the legislation. Now Homeland Security's in place. And... Now there can be terror attacks blamed on the opposition.
Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Alex Jones here, and I want to tell you about a longtime friend of the show, My Patriot Supply. As you might remember, this is the company that stood up to the DHS and exposed FEMA's secret plan to begin hoarding emergency survival food. It has always been my belief that it's key to stand behind companies who share the same values as their fellow patriots. My Patriot Supply brings us their exclusive Patriot Pantry brand, along with many other fine preparedness products. I personally store and use their high quality products. It tastes great and it's easy to store for up to 25 years. For a limited time, you can save $50 instantly on a four week supply of food, along with other special offers. Visit mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today. With the new world order making rapid advances on every front, it is essential to prepare with My Patriot Supply today. Strategic relocation is a systematic way to think strategically in the future about how do I safeguard. Renowned author and expert, Joel Skousen. The U.S. isn't building huge underground bases and bunkers because of some terrorist threat. They know that a massive nuclear attack is coming. They want that attack to come. Joel Skousen is renowned as one of the world's foremost experts in strategic relocation and the securing of your home. What I tell people is that you do have time. We talk about natural disasters, the health environment. We talk about pollution, the water quality. My personal experience about being in every one of these states, most people won't even be ready, won't be able to get out of town because there'll be absolute panic. There is no preparedness without strategy. This Christmas, give the gift of preparedness. Strategic Relocation, the film, with Joel Skousen and Alex Jones. Available only at InfoWarsShop.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We've got it. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the info war. All right, here's what I want to do. I got a bunch of special reports, including the White House and its allied groups now saying gun ownership is racist. That's coming up in the next segment, a special report we're going to premiere here on the radio. And I've got Obama becoming a dictator uh, over uh, environmental regulations that Congress has struck down. Just really unprecedented stuff coming up. But let's race through your calls. 
right now. Jerry and then Caleb, Allen, Damian, uh, Lakey, and others. Uh, Jerry in uh, Tennessee, you're on the air. Hey, uh, I got some pretty important info from my buddy in the Kentucky National Guard that I think everybody should hear. Uh, I talked to him about a week ago when the uh, info came out about the, uh, you know, the MPs guarding for the FEMA doing the confiscation. So yes, I was sent by a, a member of the military police who gave us his info and name and documents, video of them being taught that FEMA is their new command, but that's also in the news. It's not like I just believe the video and that they're being trained for gun confiscation during uh, civil unrest and a suspension of the Constitution. Go ahead. Exactly. Well, I told him about this, and he said, oh, no, I haven't heard anything like that. I'm under command of the governor of Kentucky. He wouldn't go along with anything like that. That was, you know, a week ago. Well, Saturday morning at midnight, Friday night, he'd been on grill, and I got this text from him, and uh, it kind of blew my mind. Let me see if I can get through here. Um, he sent it to me and his wife. He said, just thought you should know, uh, we are now the state. QRF, which is quick reaction course. We're getting riot control training. Just got all kinds of new riot gear issues to the armory, including non lethal weapons such as tear gas and rubber bullets, handcuffs, bats, and buffer shields, also tasers. It's our whole battalion. This is new to us because we are not a military police battalion. I was about to say, they're even training the auto mechanics now the last year, and the enemy they train them to fight is the Tea Party and gun owners. And so for those that don't know, what this caller is saying is actually in the Army Times. It's actually in Stars and Stripes. It's hiding in plain view that Obama and his controllers are preparing for a total collapse and training the entire National Guard for one mission, taking over society. Finish the rest. So receiving police riot control training, all of a sudden it's kind of off kilter because the MPs already have this training. Why us? When you think about it, the state of Kentucky will have over 5,000 soldiers trained in riot control to aid police. The reason is in case of martial law. I have heard martial law a dozen times in my classes today. And they're like, we just want you to know it may be coming. It's martial law, and the government's allowed to take the guns in a civil emergency. We need our guns during a collapse of society. Every statistic shows makes the crime rate lower. But the default is Katrina gun confiscation. And people will make any excuse they can. But, man, I tell you, everywhere they are training for cordoning cities and confiscating guns. And, again, they're going to cut the welfare until folks riot to set the precedent for a permanent military force. So the good news is, it's also the bad news, is that the, the first time they implode things, it won't be that bad. And they've done this in other countries. It's an IMF World Bank plan. They played it out. They've tested it. They'll, it'll be a, a small collapse at first, then they stabilize things. And then if we go along with that and buy into the occupation, they are going to shut everything off and steal everything, including the pensions. And folks, don't say you didn't hear it, because I'm warning everybody. I'm not bragging, it's just fact. It isn't fun to be up point on this. I've done the research, I've researched the history, it isn't hard, but I'm the only guy that did it, it seems. We're following an exact paradigm here, and it's very scary to be the guy on the radio. It's surreal who knows what's going on talking about this. Go ahead and tell me what else your friend told you. Well, that, that was pretty much the gist of it. No, he's gone from a guy who was excited about, you know, serving for Kentucky. He would always defend and be like, no, I don't, I'm not under Obama. I'm under the governor of Kentucky. Uh, now he's posting, talking about he's counting down the days until he gets out. Uh, he, well, see, and that's the problem. That's the plan. I told my dad this as a doctor. Still had another five years to work or so if he wanted to, but he was near retirement, you know, 64. He said, look, son, I know they want me to quit, but I just can't do this and sign these documents, waiving my rights and, 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 and doing all this. And everybody I know, police, military, doctors, everybody that served America faithfully is getting out. And then all you're left with is the scum. So see how that plan works? What do we do about that? You can't demand they stay in it when it's bad, but what do you do? There's nothing we can do, Alex. This, this is a foregone conclusion, and it's the judgment of God. That lady got up in the Congress the other day, and whether she was a brainwashed victim, I personally believe she'd been under conviction from the Lord. She was, it's why, that, for me, is a big red flag. Judgment's coming. We're not Nineveh. Nineveh would have repented a long time ago. 
The book of Revelation is happening, and we're with No, no, I hear you. I hear you. I hate to say it. I can feel it. I think it's already started. Have you noticed how crazy folks are going? They're being given great delusion. I think the judgment's already starting. It is. The book of Revelation isn't something that happens. My preacher just said the other day, it's not going to snap your fingers and you're in it. You build into it. We're building into it now. And if you, you have to have your head in the sand to not sit. And it notice, who does real. Homeland Security say the enemy is? Born-again Christians... Folks that believe in the second coming of Christ, that means you believe in the Antichrist coming and will resist it. That was on 60 Minutes in like 1995. She said, if you believe in the second coming of Christ, you are a cult member, you are a terrorist. In fact, pull up her full quote. We can probably find the video. I used to have it. Uh, uh, yeah, we played it about a month ago where she says, if you believe in the second coming of Christ, you are a cult member. <laughs> so, because these people are out, and, and even if you don't believe in God, folks, these people are, like, manifesting it. Talk about a creepy call. Wow, thank you, Jerry. Let's talk to Caleb in Iowa. Caleb, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Mr. Jones. Is this my own air? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, I've got a few things I want to talk about. Uh, first thing, I would like to say the LX, LAX shooting, bunch of crap. Um, if you look at the photo, the blood next to the the body, I quote around that because looks like a mannequin to me. But uh, that's what like our yellow. people said live when it happened. But I, I just can't go there. All I know is they have a history of staging stuff. They were having a drill. They people said it was TSA guy shooting people. This looks really bad. That's all I can say. Yeah, and uh, on a second point, I'd like to ask you uh, a question. A couple of years ago, actually, I think it was two thousand two thousand. Uh, you, um lied about bill cooper swearing and then kicking him off the air i'd like to wonder i'd like to take your point well you mean you just called in about some dead talk show host uh to like create some youtube video i had bill cooper on my radio show and he kept cussing and we have a delay and i had to cut him off and then finally ended the segment and got him off gracefully bill cooper was famous for cussing constantly and then you guys say well the the radio show you have recorded on YouTube doesn't do it. And that's because when it's on AM and FM, jackass, then you don't hear it. So there's your answer. It's just, it's unbelievable. The whole New World Order is coming down on us. All this stuff's happening. And you're bringing up some UFOologist that isn't even part of my lexicon, who I interviewed one time. That's why we're going to fall, folks. The public is just so brain dead. Let's talk to Alan in Florida. Alan, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, uh, Alex, um, I'm a previous uh, nights and weekend uh, worker for a major airline, worked back during uh, the 9-11 events. Um, a couple years ago, I became a citizen journalist, and I want to thank you um, as being one of the people that inspired me to take the first step to start writing and keep me going. Uh, sometimes it's not so easy, so I encourage all your listeners to start a blog, to start reporting. Anyway, uh, getting to the LAX shooting, um, about nine months ago, this was in January, uh, I was speaking uh, with an individual who works for the TSA and is a uh, veteran TSA worker. And uh, this person told me um, that they had started new training for a uh, mass shooting at a checkpoint. And this uh, TSA worker was upset, uh, frightened. No, stay there, stay there. I'm going to come back to you because this has been in the news. Guys, pull in TSA trains for checkpoint shooting. They have been just gearing up, and it's always a libertarian, anti-New World Order, and then it happens. You say, well, that's profiling. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, it is unbelievable how staged all this is. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of 
of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here, and I want to tell you about a longtime friend of the show, My Patriot Supply. As you might remember, this is the company that stood up to the DHS and exposed FEMA's secret plan to begin hoarding emergency survival food. It has always been my belief that it's key to stand behind companies who share the same values as their fellow patriots. My Patriot Supply brings us their exclusive Patriot Pantry brand, along with many other fine preparedness products. I personally store and use their high quality products. It tastes great and it's easy to store for up to 25 years. For a limited time, you can save $50 instantly on a four week supply of food, along with other special offers. Visit mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today. With the new world order making rapid advances on every front, it is essential to prepare with My Patriot Supply today. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Hmm. Obama loves me. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no. Eh. Infoworth. No. That's racist. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting. We got to get Mike Judge live on the show. It's Alex Jones. Give him a call. Let's see some live music. All right, I got a bunch of phone calls, a special report, tons of news I haven't gotten to. Weekday show comes up tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central. Infowars.com for station listings, free audio feeds, podcasts, you name it. We're going to go back to the caller, Alan in Florida, who worked for the airlines and had some big breaking news. But first, let me give you some breaking Obozo news, Ovomit news. Actually, he's running our life and winning. So I, I should say our, our vanquisher, our conqueror, I mean, our king, our master, our supreme pimp king. Obama said, hey, if you're getting problems, getting kicked off your health care, having it premium increases. Don't worry, just go to the exchange. Well, here is 
Associated Press, uh, also Fox reporting, Obamacare sites goes offline for extended maintenance. It's a fake site to create this process. The bill never said you got anything. So they got to just make you think they're not screwing you. Oh, the site didn't work. And then today, he just released this video from whitehouse.gov like 30 minutes ago. This is brand new. You're about to hear. He comes out and says, go to the site. That's where you can sign up to get all your free stuff. Be like, come get your free happy pills. Is like cyanide. People fall down dead eating it. And people, he wouldn't lie to us. And they all, oh, falls over dead. Here, you have some. I mean, it's like Jim Jones Kool-Aid drinking or something. Oh, boy, let's, uh, let's go to Obama saying go to a website that is now down, shut down. Just, just, and, and now we're just going to wait for the, like a lottery ticket. Someday the site will open. Someday, like a Russian line, I'll get my free sausages and nylons. Here it is. If you're getting one of these letters, just shop around in the new marketplace. That's what it's for. President Obama this week offering his advice to the potentially million... So there you go. I mean, just go shop around on the website. I mean, the website's completely down now. I mean, come on, don't be a... I, I imagine a headline tomorrow, Alex Jones isn't just a murderer, isn't just a terrorist, isn't just behind the LAX shooting because he made up something called a New World Order that all these world leaders are calling for. No, and, and CNBC says we're under global government of the New World Order. No, no, no. It's Alex Jones. That's why the Obamacare doesn't work. Or it's, it's, it's anybody else that doesn't buy into it. Actually, they've said it's secret Republican sabotage. They've been saying that for two weeks of the Obamacare website. They have surrogates say it, though. Uh, I'm sorry. Alan in Florida, finish your point up. Uh, re recap what you were saying and get into it. Sure, Alex. So this individual uh, was a uh, veteran TSA uh, checkpoint worker, uh, told me that uh, suddenly, this was in January of this year, the TSA had rolled out new training for a, um active shooter scenario. And this worker seemed very upset and uh, actually afraid. The worker told me they were afraid to go to work, and they were told, always look for an escape route, you know, at any time. A shooter could show up, and if that happens, the TSA needs to save themselves. Don't worry about protecting the passengers. Save yourself first. Now, um, like I told you, I had recently become, um, partly thanks to you, uh, a citizen journalist, and I published this at Washington Times Communities. Um, about You know, I thought after. you've called before. Didn't you call a couple of weeks ago mentioning your fear of a mass shooting? Uh, yes, sir. Wow, now, I'm freaking um, out right now. I remember, in fact, tell your name. We pulled it up and saw your article. You actually warned of this. Go ahead. What's your name? Yeah, actually, Alan, I have the same name as you, no relation, Alan Jones. Um, so about two weeks after this, um, something strange happened. Uh, I was approached in a public place um, by this guy with a camera who just came up to me and started taking pictures of me and then telling me things about where I used to live different cities, and uh, then just took off. So uh, I've since come to learn, I believe that person is a DHS contractor uh, as a canine handler. Um, but yeah, uh, this person uh, was upset that this was new training they had never seen in their life uh, at the TSA. Well, sir, it sounds like you need to uh, cover this more, but I remember you calling, what was it, two, three weeks ago, you were worried about a mass shooting in an airport, and then you got harassed by some operative because they knew you were onto it. Wow. We're living in a spy movie. I mean, I mean, that's all I can say. You should go find that YouTube clip. You remember when you called in. Was it two, three weeks ago or a month ago? When was that? It was, I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned this particular story. No, you called in during the day... Because I remember saying this and having a discussion, and it was you. And I said, I'm worried they're going to stage a mass shooting probably at LAX. I remember that call. Um, okay, I, I, I can't remember. The problem certain. is I do like 16, 17 hours a week or more just of live radio. <laughs> but I remember, God bless you, brother. I appreciate your call. Uh, anybody can search TSA prepares for mass shootings. You can find articles from a month ago, you name it. But I want to go to a report, speaking of the demonization of gun owners, right now, then we'll come back and see if I can find 
that news article. Uh, here is that uh, report dealing with the demonization of gun owners. Is owning a gun racist? Remember three and a half years ago when they were trying to pass Obamacare? And we were reading the legislation and pointing out that it was written by insurance companies to raise premiums and kick people off their existing plans and was a giant fraud. We were called racist. If you didn't support Obamacare, you were racist. There was no proof, no reason, no logic. Well, the same thing is happening again. We've seen in the last year this drumbeat by Fox Sports columnists like Whitlock and others that you are racist if you basically own guns or if you're a member of the NRA, that you are the new Ku Klux Klan. I did not go as far as I would like to go because my, my thoughts on the NRA uh, and America's gun culture, I, I believe the NRA is the new KKK. Well, the drumbeat has been intensifying with a new study put out by a Brit and an Australian, two places where their populations have been disarmed, uh, putting together doctored statistics to say that Owning guns is racist. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you own guns, it's because you don't like black people. Of course, uh, a few years ago, uh, Michael Moore didn't even need statistics to say this. He said, scared white people out in the countryside have these because they don't like black people. But what Jason Whitlock of Fox and what Bob Costas and what Michael Moore don't want you to know is the historical fact that at the end of the Civil War, they were passing laws so that black folks couldn't own guns in the South. And the NRA was founded to teach blacks how to use firearms to protect themselves from the Ku Klux Klan. This is a fact. It was one of the main reasons the National Rifle Association was founded. But in this upside down world, the NRA and gun owners collectively are told that we are the new Ku Klux Klan because we are against individuals being ganged up on and abused and because the NRA was founded to fight the Ku Klux Klan. Thank the Lord for our Constitution. I also want to thank the NRA for its legacy. The National Rifle Association was started, founded by religious leaders who wanted to protect free slaves from the Ku Klux Klan. They would raise money, buy arms, show the free slaves how to use those arms and protect their families. God bless you. Many of us probably wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the NRA. The truth is, none of these so-called liberals that are really authoritarian progressives, they are for the progression of tyranny, want the state that's arming to the teeth to be uh, restricted. They don't want uh, all of the Hollywood stars who are anti-gun for other individuals to have their armed bodyguards taken away. No, 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 no. They're just for the mass of the commoners who can't afford bodyguards. They're just for us to be disarmed. These people are anti-liberty, anti-freedom. In fact, recently, Eddie Vedder came out uh, of Pearl Jam and said that people are trying to take his free speech away because they're arguing with him, saying they don't want to have their guns taken away. They also don't think that you have the right to speak as an American, as a taxpayer, as a father. So he wants to take your right of self-defense away, so you argue against him. And then he calls that an attack on his free speech. No, no. Disagreeing with you is not an attack on your free speech. Taking free speech away with the fairness doctrine, like the FCC is trying to do, is. So again, these people are authoritarian and don't even Folks, know it. They are the full report's up on Infowars.com. I'm out of time. Sorry to the other callers. 11 a.m. Central, uh, 12 noon Eastern, three-hour radio show tomorrow. I haven't even gotten into the big news since Friday. Obama signs dictatorial executive order imposing debunked climate change policies. Even though Congress shot it down, this is meant to, again, bankrupt the country, to make us dependent on them, just like the Soviet Union into Eastern Europe. This is Cloward and Piven, where everybody you know, God bless you all. I'm Alex Jones signing off for now. Strategic relocation is a systematic way to think strategically in the future about how do I safeguard. Renowned author and expert, Joel Skousen. The U.S. isn't building huge underground bases and bunkers because of some terrorist threat. They know that a massive nuclear attack is coming. 
They want that attack to come. Joel Skousen is renowned as one of the world's foremost experts in strategic relocation and the securing of your home. What I tell people is that you do have time. We talk about natural disasters, the health environment. We talk about pollution, the water quality. My personal experience about being in every one of these states, most people won't even be ready and won't be able to get out of town because there'll be absolute panic. There is no preparedness without strategy. This Christmas, give the gift of preparedness. Strategic Relocation, the film, with Joel Skousen and Alex Jones. Available only at InfoWarsShop.com or by calling 888-253-3139. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com.